I've got four. Hello, you four. How are you? Good, good, good. Terrible. Oh, that's terrible. School holidays really suck, don't they? Oh, man, wouldn't it be great to be back at school? Mm. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever forgotten something? Yes. Yeah? I forget everything I learn at church. You forget everything you learn. Oh, dear. Well, we better keep on teaching you then so that you remember. I've forgotten things before. I'll tell you one story. I was doing a, a music exam. And I rocked up, we had to drive an hour to go to this music exam and I had my clarinet and I'm all ready to go and I get up the front and the examiner goes, can you play the first piece please? And I went to my case and I don't have any of my sheet music. I'm like, how am I going to play this piece if I don't have the sheet music? Luckily the examiner was a really nice guy and he said, here, take 10 minutes. We rang up a music shop bought the music again, and they faxed it through to the place we were at because back in those days we used fax machines. That's like an email but with paper, okay? Um, But I have forgotten it. It was terrible. It was a bad thing to forget. Now, in in the psalm that Dan or Mr. Rowe or Dad is going to talk to us about today, uh, God's people have forgotten something, and it's probably the most important thing that you could ever forget. Do you want to have a guess what it might be? Food. Food? No, people never forget food because we're always reminded of that because our tummies go... They have forgotten about God and what he had done for them. And the author of the psalm lays out a few things that they'd forgotten, like how he'd saved them from Egypt and how when they were traveling, he provided food and water for them and other things he, he reminds them again, but they had forgotten. They'd forgotten God. And I think sometimes we can just forget, oh, Jesus did something too, didn't he? Yeah, Jesus, God's done something for us through Jesus. And we just forget about it. He did. He died for us. He died for us. So it's an important thing for us to always remember. Hey, Jesus has died for us. And that's a really good thing to remember. What are some ways that we can try and remind ourselves? Because you said, I always forget stuff. What are good ways to remind ourselves of what God has done for us in Jesus? Oh, that's a good one. Read the Bible. Doing it every day is really helpful. I like to do it on my own every morning. And then as a family, we like to open it up and read together at night. Uh, That's always good. What's something that we do at church here that uh, at the end of a series, we get people up the front to do? The memory verse. Memorizing bits of the Bible is really good. Having it stored here and here. Another really good one, and this comes out in particular in the first few verses of the psalm, is that every Sunday we make sure that we have a time to talk with you guys and remind you guys, the kids, hey, Jesus loves you and we've got to remember what he's done for us too. That's a good thing to do, isn't it? And that's where you'll say, yeah, thanks very much to all the kids talkers. Oh, thanks, good on you, thanks, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to pray now and then we'll grab our kid sheets, okay? Lord, thanks so much for all that you have done for us. Thank you so much for Jesus and that he died for us and that you rose him again so that we can have life with you forever. Please help us to remember that, to have your word in our heads and in our hearts at all times, remembering your great love for us. Amen.